This is the Kale deck. If you haven't checked out the Kalifla deck, uh, Kalifla deck, please go take a, take a look at that first. This kind of runs the same sort of engine, just with Broly and a, and a couple other things. And before I begin, um, uh, there's two things. One, thank you for for everybody who has subscribed uh, so far in the last a uh, few weeks i really do appreciate it please sh share the videos see what other people can uh come up with as far as deck lists uh, get a discussion going and most i am more than happy to talk about it and two uh for any of these deck lists and uh deck profiles they are mo they, they are to my preference to my play style and um to something that i think everybody else can t uh you know kind of play and, and build upon uh it's not the end all be all and it's not everything to uh to say that this is the the deck to, to play okay <laughs> i'm just gonna get that out there also I, I generally don't play broly or the veg veggies um because they are so expensive i kind of stray away from that uh just so everybody can have access to something that, that everybody can play and compete with but for this this is the deck or the yeah i would say the deck to kind of play those things and i think for kale she can kind of go uh, a lot of different ways but the veggie engine and as well as the tournament power um new cards is is definitely important and kind of standard slash staple for her because she kind of needs Khalifla. so basically for this uh leader if you did not know when it attacks a leader card it draws one uh, I'll, I'll explain why that's kind of an issue um but for this also when you're at four or less uh, you switch two energy instead of draw two uh so the Khalifla card for the draft box uh is draw two and this one is draw uh, is two energy. I think the other universe seven, the Goku and the Vegeta, is uh, active as well. A lot of people have issues with that, but I'll kind of explain how you can work around it um, and and why this is so explosive around uh, when, when she does have four health. And for the flip side, for the awakened side, uh, if Khalifa is in the battle area, you don't have to place any cards in the, from your hand and drop here as a result of the skill. If you played any Broly decks, this is the same exact one without the restriction that you can only attack leader cards. Um, and of course, when this attacks, you draw one card and then place one card from your drop area with Khalifa, you don't. And then with, the, uh, with your opponent, uh, they place one card from their hand to the drop area. So... Let's take a look at the deck real quick and we'll kind of go through uh, exactly what the, the breakdown for this is. So for the Khalifa deck, it's more uh, more centered around aggro. This one is more centered around hand destruction with the same sort of engine, sort of sort of uh, uh, thought behind it. T-H-O-T, -T, you know, and um, the, the issue with the unawakened side for Kale and, and, and the reason why I have this one drop Khalifa <laughs> is because um, when you do attack the leader card or their leader card you draw one but you're getting you're giving them more cards so you either have an option to not have so many cards to build a deck to uh get more draw power power um or to uh what should we call it <laughs> or to give them more cards and then work your work, work your way around it um th this is the first build i would say uh, i want to take another stab at this i, I kind of want to take a red yellow approach uh, for this too, but the green, green, red, uh, kind of works as well. So this sort of has the, the whole, um, uh, Broly slash veggies going on. The one, the, the reason why the one drop Khalifa is in here instead of maybe saying Kaba or Rushing Warrior Pan is a number of reasons. So one, um, this is number one, the quickest way to prevent yourself from dropping any, um, uh, any cards from your hand period so if you have one energy run one at red energy you would be using it for this um, when it's your turn so that way they can drop one and you don't there is no other way to get a Khalifa quicker than this zero I would love to argue about that <laughs> um, and because of this this requires two green maybe one because of Kaba but then you have to have the Kaba you might as well be summoning <laughs> the, the the Khalifa you'll be doing that every single time with this deck anyway um this is the quickest way so no i'm not gonna put the cobbas in there i'm not gonna give them two cards uh when this is a hand destruction deck i'm not gonna do that russian warrior pan is maybe another option kaba is an option because this one um does summon a 1500 or less so that that uh but it doesn't have universe six so that's that's another issue so to me 
the Khalifa stays until I find another replacement. You're feel, feel free to run the combos. Feel free to do anything else. To that that way you can have a, a better early game. But this one is more of a mid to late game sort of thing uh, going on, and uh, I personally wouldn't change it. Anyway, so this has all the Broly's, or at least the most important ones. Uh, so the one drop Broly that's Surge Seven. The endless promo one, uh, and a quick explanation of this, if you didn't know already, it KOs one card, they have to choose it, so if they're choosing a lot of one drops or playing a lot of one drops, they're probably going to choose that. Um, play it when they only have one card, and that way they have to KO it. And it also reduces the cost of, a, uh, of any Broly that evolves on top of it by two green, so this one becomes two. And uh, a lot of a lot of people have some uh, opinions about this one. So this is there, so you can play it on three or four turn or third or fourth turn. And then this is there, so you can play on top of for, for two, and they have to drop two. You don't choose; they do. For this one, for the the sixth one, the six drop, which is uh, pretty much effectively three, um, you choose two. So that way. Uh, they don't really have a choice and it's probably more effective for, than this one because you you do have a 30,000 um beater instead and uh this is only 20,000 that's why i only play two this is why i have four and that's why you get to search them and then them and you get an idea right so since this one is um uh unactive or activate two instead so you have a couple options so for saying teamwork combo it does search the top 10. i already went through this for uh, the Khalifa deck as well and um, uh, again you can either do Khalifa or Kale and I, and I, I do want to say you can switch out Bryo Broly and as well as Super Saiyan Gotenks instead with Kale um, and that way you can have another target for Kaba and if you have a couple Kabas then now you have a two drop that lets you draw has critical and KOs up to five that is just too good but I wanted to keep it focused on the Khaliflas and it just works. Uh, to me, it just works. And I think if I had to make, it, make another variant, it'd probably be that. It'll, it'll probably be the Kale. Let's be real here. Uh, anyway, so basically uh, for this guy, you drop two uh, for, for a two drop if you evolve on this guy. And then you drop two, you choose them, you get double strike for both of them. Um, uh, Khalifla and Kaba. Very self-explanatory. Uh, again, search the top 10, you play a Khalifa or add it to your hand. This one, you add um, a card to your hand. And if you have the Kale, the green Kale, you don't have to KO anything. Um, and uh, now that I take a look at this, uh, yeah, okay, well, I'll explain. So basically, if you if you do take one, uh, you take one for your life. You have a lot of options. So this this Khalifa over here takes one life and gets double strike with five thousand added to it. So it's a twenty thousand uh, with double strike as early as maybe turn two with Kaba, since it, it can summon her, um, and as well as uh, uh, just getting her uh, down to five or four. Five is fine because this super combo. I'm just kind of going everywhere. This super combo lets you draw at five or less and then uh, get a 10k. So pretty pretty good. Now the the counters that I have are the uh, Unending Awakening and as well as uh, Vado's Assistance. So I might switch this to all four for Vado's Assistance. I can I kind of found that um, it's it works a little bit better, but because Kale doesn't really have too many defenses, um, at, at least in this deck. Uh, it, it's kind of good to have the Unknown Awakening, especially in this meta where people are, are building decks like this, where they go aggro and they um, it's a little bit harder to, to decide, especially with Cell Chain as well. But that is uh, that's what I would say. Uh, I didn't go over Sun Sun Go Chain Family Justice, so the, the reason why this card is in here instead of any other cards is because of the early game kind of. Uh, needs a little bit of work, right? And uh, to prevent and go against other veggies and as well as other uh, cards that need to be evolved on, or just just an early game, simply early game. Um, this is this is really useful. So that way you can use one energy um, or earlier into the game, drop drop a three cost or less, and uh, you'll be good to go. I think you'll be good to go for these two. Uh, easy easy energy if you don't need them. Uh, so impeccable Super Saiyan Kaba, this guy, uh, it, it, you can attack cards in active mode um, and your opponent cannot uh, activate counters against this card's attack. And then of course, if your leader is a Red Saiyan, which she is, um, 
this card gains 5,000 power for the duration of turn. So very useful in making sure to uh, get across things where you cannot, um, well, you know they have energy, you might, they might counter, which a lot of the time they might. Um, and this is also useful because if you are playing this right as far as the, bro the Broly's and as well as her leader effect, uh, they shouldn't have too many cards to combo with and you can end the game pretty quickly uh, if you do that a couple times. Same thing for Jiren. Jiren is there because, uh, oh, excuse me, is there because, well, it's Jiren. Uh, he, take, he takes care of a, a lot of different threats and he is a, a big threat on his own. He switches to um, active mode as soon as he attacks and gains 10,000 for a 30,000 double striker and attacks battle cards in active. Um, so that is very, very useful. Uh, for the sister attack, Khalifa, again, uh, to choose one life and for this one you choose the top seven to um to summon a 15,000 or less for universe seven or universe six so you can you have her you have her or him her and um that's pretty much it that is just so you can build the board and continue to see if you can uh, uh attack more and of course if you can't I would say self awaken as, as soon as possible so that way it kind of works into getting these Khalifas on the on the ground or on the board and uh, awaken into her effect that drops uh, drops cards. Whew, okay, so changes that I would make. I would rework the deck altogether. <laughs> this works and it does work um, if you just play it. But to be different, to be uh, to kind of see what else works. I, again, I would switch to red, yellow. Uh, play, playing Planet Vegeta, playing um, uh, Flying Nimbus, and and just to be a little bit. A different kind of defense. Um, if I had to change uh, anything else, I would probably remove the Jirens, maybe the Kabas, uh, or the Jirens and maybe the the Gotens altogether, because uh, it sometimes it really just doesn't get to uh, turn five to play him to switch to two energy and draw a card. Um, but he is still useful, so that way you switch two energy, you play a combo, and you, you continue your combos. Um, I would switch him out and I'll switch him out. Maybe add three in for um, the uh, Relentless Mira and maybe another uh, Overrun card, like Time Patrol Trunks or something. But honestly, I don't see this deck having issues searching. Like it, like just because of the Kaba, just because of the Broly, um, you get the cards that you need and draw power isn't too much of an issue. But if it is, again, Rushing Warrior Pan, um, and as well as science is foo those those are kind of cards where you can just throw in this and it will be a lot better so if you want like i said if you watch the khalifla uh the khalifla uh deck profile you would understand why i went this direction for this deck profile it works so, sort of the same it's just that later in the game uh it, it your opponent really doesn't have too many cards and for this uh uh just as an example if you are uh like I don't know let's say three three green one red that's pretty ideal for that way you can use one of these uh and then add a red later on so that way you can play jiren or uh something else basically and if you are you uh and you basically play a kaba and you summon either her or her take a life and then you have still three uh three or four energy uh you untap you play another kaba you do it again or if you are, if you had four four life already, you have three green, one red. You play the Broly. You untap two. You play him. You KO card with him. You drop two with him, uh, or you can use him as well if you have uh, more green. And then you attack. They drop one. And if you have a Litless Mira, you can Overrealm, and it becomes, let's say, what two? Uh, yeah, two cards, one KO one card one card so four cards dropped one ko it's a little it's a tiny little kale chain if, if you ask me <laughs> and i i think it, it really works out um uh in a in a in most all situations so there you go that that is my take on kale using the tournament power uh cards of course this uh this could change in the future with all the other cards coming out um, but this is where I would stand. I play this for a good maybe week, week and a half uh, to understand how Broly works and what the uh, the best 
or almost optimal plays are because I, I personally uh, am not a broly player i'm not i'm not a veggies player either but i've gotten very familiar with this and understand how how they all work uh, obviously this deck still needs a little bit of work but i think this is a very good starting point um and still works as is for mo against most decks i've i've not i've been pretty successful against aggro decks uh control decks all these other decks and um if you have your own sort of spiel or uh take on this so far if you've been playing on untap or or just been playing proxies let me know and um, i'm more than happy to to kind of uh to understand and to get your point of view so hit me up leave a comment leave a like leave a dislike i, I mean I don't, I don't mind at all it tells me exactly what i should do when it comes to these videos subscribe if you're new if you have been already thank you again and uh, i will see you in the next video Later.